Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear learners. Yesterday we did question 5 from the first part understanding the poem and we also did question first from the second part learning about the literary devices. Now we move to the question second in the second part. What is the contrast between the last line and the rest of the poem? What does it suggest? For this question, I will recall you answer and you please note down this in your notebook and prepare for your exam. Dear learners, the answer goes like this. In the rest of the poem, the poet has described many wonderful and beautiful sights and scenes of nature. He has described the scenes of dawn and sunset, beautiful flowers like daffodils, green grass, blossoms, strange lands, sweet melodies produced by blossoms and the chanting sound of the sea waves, etc. But in the last line, The poet says that there are things more beautiful which are his beloved sweet voice, beautiful hair attractive eyes, and red cow on her lips. He means to say that beauty of all the objects of nature can be put to shame before the beauty of his beloved this was the answer of your question second in the second part now we have last part that is discussion we will take first how does the poet describe beautiful things we have to discuss on this. I'll discuss for you. Please note down this in your notebook and prepare for your exam. Dear learners, the poet has described many beautiful things. He says that he has seen the beauty of dawn and sunset on the moors and windy hills. The poet is attracted by this beauty just as someone is attracted by slow old sublime tunes of music he has seen the beautiful lady april that brings daffodils springing grass in rain he has also been impressed by the sweet melodies produced by blossoms and the chanting sound of the sea waves he has traveled far and wide and has seen many strange lands. The poet has seen many beautiful things on the earth, but he thinks that his beloved's beauty has attracted him most. He has been spelled by her sweet voice, beautiful hair attractive eyes and a red curl on her lips. This was the first question from the discussion part and and the second and final is what is your idea of beauty? Share your thoughts with your group mates. The learners we will share this idea like this. In my, in my opinion, beauty is something that delights and charms and helps one to appreciate God's creative power. Beauty creates beautiful thoughts. We enjoy the beauties of nature which, brings, which bring us peace of mind. The lovers of beauty don't develop the feelings of hatred. They try to spread peace everywhere. It has rightly been stated that handsome is that handsome does. Our truthfulness 
politeness honesty affection are the symbols of beauty beauty of mind beauty of actions and beauty of thoughts is everlasting john keats has said a thing of beauty is a joy forever so all the things of beauty gives us permanent joy so this was the second question from the discussion part of the this question section and now we will close this we will meet tomorrow inshallah in the next lesson till then khuda hafiz